to treat cancer, we have to understand what type of languages they are using so that we can know what neurons are sending helpful signals and what are sending harmful signals. The nervous system is made of billions of interconnected cells called neurons or nerve cells. These cells, they ultimately control everything that we do. For example, when you are moving your arm, it's actually neurons, they are uh, controlling this. Even for things that you've never thought about, uh, for example, like your breathing, your heartbeat, it's also the neurons, they are talking to one another that is behind the scene. They also uh, play a role in cancer progression. Neurons uh, communicate with one another using chemicals called neurotransmitters. Neurotransmitters are like languages, so different neurons, they would speak different languages. The tumor cells, for example, like lung tumors, um, pancreatic tumors, they may also use different languages. Therefore, there is a very complicated interaction uh, or language exchange between cancer and the nervous system. The nervous system, they might be sending exactly the same signal. However, different cancer cells, they may perceive it differently, and hence they may have different reactions against these uh, spoken languages. To treat cancer, we have to understand what type of languages they are using so that we can know what neurons are sending helpful signals and what are sending harmful signals. Therefore, we can design customized strategy against each tumor. Here at the Creek, we examine the interaction between cancer and the nervous system at different stages of the disease progression. Since it is not possible to do that in human patients, we perform this work in mice with cancers. By taking this road less traveled, we really hope that we could ultimately make all the difference in cancer treatment for patients in the future.